Hello, I'm Lopology, and in this video we're going to be learning how to install Linux on your Android device. So, to get us started, you're going to need to install VNC Server from Google Play. And then, we're going to need to get a program called Andronix to handle the Linux installation. Then, we're going to need to get a file explorer. I, I recommend CX File Explorer, but you can just use the one that's built in on your Android device. Probably. Depends. Uh, then, according to Andronix, you can no longer use Termix from Google Play, so because it is horribly out of date. So we're going to need to go get the F-Droid store, which is an open source store, which you can download from f-droid.org for free. And it uh, is going to be the location that we're going to need to get the up-to-date version of Termix, because Termix up-to-date is no longer available in Google Play. So I'm just downloading the APK from F-Droid's website, and I'm just going to install that. I'll need to allow sources from my web browser, in this case, Firefox on mobile. So I just allow from the source and then it just, you know, installs uh, F droid into the, uh, into the system or well, the APK. So I have to open CX file explorer next and then find F droid in the downloads folder. So I'm going to launch the F droid.apk that we just downloaded and uh, just open it once it's installed, all good. And with once it takes a little while to install the sources, but then we just have to search Termix, which is the next piece of software we will need. Uh, so Termix will give us a command line. So just tap the install button, but we're going to have to allow the source once it's installed. So it's just downloading the Termix APK, and then we just have to say allow from F-Droid when, when prompted from our system. This might not happen for you, but for me, I had to allow it uh, when it prompted me. So once that is installed, <laughs> I'm just going to tap on ready to install, and I'm going to have to hit the install button again because of the prompt. So it's staging. Do you want to install this application? Tap install and Termix will install as a program. So I'm just gonna throw Termix onto the homepage and we can get started. But before that, a quick message. Want to stay up to date on when new Lumpology videos are uploaded? Subscribe and set the bell to all, or leave it unpersonalized to periodically receive updates about the channel. And without other way, open Andronix to start us off. So, Andronix has a few different options for what flavor of Linux you want to use. Uh, I'm going to go with the most common variant of Linux out there, so I'm just going to use Ubuntu, but all of these are valid options. I've used Manjaro in the past. So tap Proceed, and then tap 20.04, and then Install, and then uh, select your desktop environment, or choose whatever you want, but I'm doing desktop environment, and F, XFCE, and then I'm just going to copy and open Termix. And then that'll launch the Termix application from Andronix. And then all you're going to need to do is long press and paste the command that Andronix copied in to our clipboard. And then just tap on the screen and hit enter with the keyboard. So now uh, it's going to start installing and we're going to, it's going to prompt us a couple times. So we're just going to have to say yes to the install. So here type Y, hit enter, and it'll keep going. All right, so this is just going to install. It could take half an hour to an hour. I'm going to allow it to write to the device. And then once all of this is done, which remember could take a while, <laughs> could take a really long time, just leave it. If it, do if it doesn't look like it's continuing, just leave it anyways, because it will finish. Uh, and then here, we're just going to select a geographic area. I'm going to select two for America. And then I'm going to uh, select my time zone, which is the city corresponding. <laughs> so uh, just tap enter to see the entire list and just type the corresponding number or the word of the city, the name of the city. So then it's gonna install more and then it's gonna ask to select keyboard layout. So for me, I use English US keyboard, so I'm gonna type 31 and uh, I'm just gonna type one to use the standard English US keyboard. And then it'll pretty much just finish installing. 
And after that, it's going to prompt us for a password for the VNC server. Make this simple. It's not very important, or maybe it is. Depends. I'm going to just put mine in as one, two, three, four, five, six. Just very simple, easy to remember. Hit enter, and then hit enter again with the auto detect dynamic resolution. And then it's just it just started Ubuntu right off the bat. So I'm just going to hop over to VNC server, VNC viewer, sorry, <laughs> and I'm going to hit the green button and just type localhost in the first in the address slot localhost colon one and then hit next and just give it a name it doesn't really matter what the name is and I'm going to set the picture quality from automatic to high so that we don't have any weird color issues we're just gonna hit connect uh, just and then just type one two three four five six for the password to the VNC server and just like that here's Ubuntu All right, now that we're done that, I'm going to show you how to turn this all down. So tap the X button and uh, just tap disconnect from the VNC server. And just, you can close that app if you want. We're gonna go over to Termix and we're just gonna type VNC server dash stop. And that'll turn the VNC server off. Then uh, just type one to kill port one, which is what it's hosted on. Then type exit to close, to shut down Linux Ubuntu. And then type exit once more to close the Termix terminal. Now to start the program back up again, just type ls once you open it up. That way you can see the name of the start file. Then type uh, dot slash start dash in this case it's ubuntu 20.sh but it there's no guarantee that this is what it will be and then once you've started ubuntu up with the dot slash start dash ubuntu 20.sh then run vnc server dash start and then it'll prompt you once again uh, the resolution and then just select the first option auto detect dynamic resolution and hit enter. And then uh, just like that, the program will start up. Now it's very important that you stop the program. You don't just for force quit or shut down the Android device because otherwise it will cause issues. If there ever is an issue and you are no longer able to start up the device, after you launch uh, start uh, dot slash start dash ubuntu 20 dot sh, uh, dot sh just type vnc server dash stop before typing vnc server dash start and that should solve the problem lumpology is a community driven channel you can suggest videos by commenting below a video or in the communities tab alternatively you can go to the lumpology discord page or the lumpology forum did this video fail to answer the question or is the video broken? Please tell us in the comments below, and you can make your voice known by either disliking or liking the video. Thank you for your continued support.